In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove and replace a coolant temp sensor, aka ECT sensor, located on the passenger side of the engine, right under the distributor. So here is the ECT sensor, the coolant temp sensor. It's the bigger one of the two down there. I'm going to get a pair of my needle nose long, and I'm just going to push on that little tab. When I hear it click, excuse my head, Let's see if I can get the, hear it click like that, I'm gonna pull on it. Get that right out of the way. So I'm gonna remove this little harness out of the way. It's not gonna give me tons of mo movement, but enough. And what I'm using is a little pocket screwdriver. I'm gonna bend the little tab that is attached to the bracket and slide it off. Just like that. Now I can have a little flex in there. So I'm going to get my setup, which I have a 19 millimeter on a 3 8 swivel on a 3 8 extension. So I took the, all the little connectors down here off the other sensors too, so I can really flex this on us. I might even take this one off. So the sensor, pull that tab, just so I don't damage anything. Now we can really see in there. It's a 19 millimeter socket I'm using a three quarter inch deep. It's like a stubby and three quarter inch ratchet. Break it free. Took the sensor right with it. Looked kind of hairy anyways. It was had a crack in it. Now we've I've got a bucket underneath catching that coolant. I'm gonna get my sensor ready to go in. Remove it, grab your new one. Definitely start it by hand. Now you notice that was like a plumber's thread. Some people, and I'm guilty of it back in the uh, long time ago when it didn't matter, but some people put uh, pipe threading like tape on that or a paste for the threads. You gotta remember nowadays with all the computers and electrical, even though this is an older range generation, it does ground out through that. So you don't want it to not work properly, correct? So if it doesn't come with it, I wouldn't add it. Let's put that socket on. And we are literally going to bottom it out and turn it an eighth of a turn, like that. There's no torque specs for that. All right, let's get the connector. Push it in till it clicks. Don't forget that other single wire you took off that other sensor. Do the same there. Bottoms out. This one. And then let's put that bracket back on. Now don't forget to top your coolant off, run it, make sure there's no air pockets and coolant there. And overflow should always read right at the low mark when it's cold and high mark when it's hot. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.